Good morning and happy Tuesday. Thanks for waking up with us here this morning. I'm joined by Eric Purcell and Katie Nelson here this morning. It may only be Tuesday, but we're already thinking about the weekend with this event. This is a big event that's yes. coming up, and this is the uh, Car River Cleanup already here. This Absolutely. weekend. Good morning. Absolutely. Good morning. Thank you for letting us come on. Absolutely. It's. I know it's uh, bright and early, so we appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, so, how messy is it out there? What will be uh, the cleanup efforts like? You know, there's quite a bit out there. Um, Eric and I went and kind of looked around a couple weeks ago, and there's some tires, there's a mattress, lots of trash out there. Um, you don't know what you're going to find once you get the mattress picked up, what's under the mattress. Yeah. We didn't move anything when we were out there, but there's a lot to clean up. And there's three separate areas that we're going to be focusing on just to make the Weir and Cofferdam a little more attractive to people in our city and people that are coming from other areas to our city. Okay, so. and, and how um, many volunteers do you need? How can people sign up for this? Well, we're hoping for about 30, maybe even some more than 30. Oh, <laughs> I think we can do that. Okay, so how do people sign up? You could just go to the Kansas um, Riverfront Volunteer page on um, Facebook is the best way. And they can go and just say they're going to come or just show up at the Weir on Sunday afternoon at one o'clock. Yeah, and this is such a good yeah. annual event, I know, that is really just trying to help clean up the city and, and the river area. Yeah. What are the long-term goals, though, for this? Yeah, long-term goals for the Riverfront Action Team is to not only do cleanups like this on Sunday, but also to do um, fun family um, safe activities, including the, the Capital Paddle, which is coming up in August, um, some other float trips that we'd like to do, but not just cleaning up um, the ecosystem that the river is on um, and runs through, but more activities that get people out and enjoy the uh, the river itself. So yeah, absolutely. And how do how do you believe uh, the our river uh, plays such a big role in and getting people to have fun and play and work and live here in the Topeka community? Absolutely. Um, the river it divides our city. It runs right through it. So we have a terrific opportunity to have a riverfront, a vibrant. Um, area downtown or, or anywhere else, um, trails and things that people could do and recreate. Um, you could incorporate the weir with sunflower soccer if you wanted to. You could have a, a in between the two bridges downtown, more of a, um, a river district where you could go and, and um, enjoy um, either a bite to eat or a cup of coffee or something like that. But long term, we have quite the vision at the River act, um, Action Team, and, and we want to see it thrive in the Topeka area. All right. Well, of course, it starts, though, with that cleanup this Absolutely. weekend. So Absolutely. make sure uh, you check out the Facebook page mm -hmm. and get more, more information on, on how to clean up and help uh, volunteers with that. I think we can get more than 30 people I hope there. so. I think That'd be can. great. All right. Well, make sure you check it out. Thank you both for being here this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. And we'll be back right after this break.